Hey guys, what's up from Roll, Minnesota, your state of skate? Hey, happy Friday, everybody. I'm Butch Lehman, and today we're taking another look at a rolling reaction. Today, we're turning our attention to one of the most technically proficient skaters in the entire world. His name is Eugen Enen. Now, my apologies go out to you, Eugen, if I'm mispronouncing your name, but the name doesn't matter. What matters is your skating is intense. Today we're going to be looking at four different sections from Eugen. One is from his Undercover Wheels uh, profile. It was a promotional video called Rope Dancer. From there we'll go into his Elite Series VOD. We'll take a look at E3, a Japanese video profile that he put together. And we're going to wrap this one up with his section in The Groovy Deed. So four sections, it's a lot of content coming your way, but hopefully this will let us roll right into the weekend. Let's kick it off. We have kind of this carnival-esque introduction to this section, and there are carnival-esque tricks happening everywhere in this video. You guys are gonna like this one. This is, this is crazy. Look at this rail. Look at the balance. He's just surfing. I think the concept for this whole uh, promotional profile was basically find the most ridiculous spots and turn him loose to do his thing. And Eugen doesn't disappoint when he's skating unusual obstacles, that's for sure. Toe rolls, those are witchcraft. It's a pr proven fact, science. Look at this rail. Wow. Now don't get me wrong, I enjoy skating a good curved obstacle, it just feels really good to be in the barrel as you're, you know, pulling speed through it. But some of these rails, man, I don't know. This is pretty sick. Put some transfer rails in there just for variety. Good editing right on the beat there. Like I said, he is the technical proficiency master. I want to take skate lessons from him. I feel like there's so much to learn. You know, you think you start start understanding rollerblading tricks and getting your um, vocabulary down, and then you watch a section like this, and it just makes you question your own existence. It's an existential crisis, really. Nice 540 on that one. This trick. We're back to this rail, but let's make it more difficult. Just stomps it. So clean. All right, so that was a quick one. That one is his Rope Dancer profile. The next one we're gonna see is a little bit longer, and this is his uh, Elite Series VOD. Got all the cherry blossoms, I think those are, in bloom, and Shout out to whoever put together this piece because the color grading in this is really cool. Um, they've gone through, recolorized it, and it really has this subdued sort of hue to it. Um, but so is the music and so is the expressiveness of the skating, and I think it really emphasizes Eugen's really relaxed, chill style that he brings to the table. Even on this fish brain, like he's fishing a drop rail, and for a lot of people that would be a really intense trick, but for him, with the slow motion, with the colors, with the sound, the music, uh, it's just really relaxed. It's mellow. I like that. I like it a lot. So I think what you're about to see a lot of from Eugen in this section is he does a lot of like really, really difficult budget type switch ups. Um, he also utilizes the channels of his frames, he does rough grinds, a lot of things that you don't typically see. He's a very out of the box type of skater and you just have to have respect for that. Also, he is a master of the backslide and you're going to see quite a few backslides from him in this profile. And most of his tricks too, he really charges, he skates with a lot of speed which is a little bit 
I don't know, unexpected considering the amount of switch ups and the technical aspect he's approaching rails with. That's something you don't usually see as people want to go slower in order to fit everything in, but he'll take the speed in. So smooth. This just looks deadly. Those like fast plants out of grinds like that. Pretty scary on their own, but even worse when you have a big drop coming immediately after the rail that you're just doing a quick tap on. Some really amazing cinematography in this uh, profile. Good scene setting shots. And again, that's all that's all adding to the atmosphere and the ambiance that's created through the section. I have a good friend here in Minnesota. His name's Chase Linsmeyer, and he's all about these really technical quick switch-ups as well. I feel like him and Oigen would be perfect friends together. Like, I want to see those two session a P-Rail together. That's, that's a life dream. So much happening so fast that he's the kind of blader where you really have to rewind clips and watch him multiple times to fully appreciate what's even happening in the trick. I really like that, that's sick. Unconventional approaches to rails. Something old, something new. Put them together, makes for an interesting video. Hurricane Topsail, or for all of uh, the Europeans out there watching this, we're at Winter Clash. I guess we're gonna call that a tornado topsail. I think the Cess slide out into the ledge is really what made that for me. That was such a cool way to stop. I'm not gonna lie, watching this section makes me pretty jealous. Like, I've been rollerblading for just about 20 years, and there are so many things in here that are entirely new, and it's almost like a different language to me watching this type of skating. You know, there's tricks that are really difficult that I certainly can't do, but that I've seen happen before, and that I could, like, envision attempting. But some of this stuff, like that, no. So wild. All right, we're gonna switch over to our next profile. There's a little bit more to this one, but I wanna get enough in. The next one is going to be his E3 section. And again, this one's out of Japan and it's, it's really good. You guys are gonna like this one. Again, some really cool editing and cinematography. He's a monster. Just now in this video, he's literally a monster, where earlier it was more metaphorical. He was figuratively a monster in the rollerblading world. In the channel. In the other channel. He's like cable television, he has so many channels. Philip 66 is one of my favorite tricks there. I've only done it on spines, never on a giant rock, but that could have been deadly. Wow. It has nothing to do with success in seeing, hearing, or acting. And so we get the marriage of an illusion with a falsehood. And that we call ourselves. Like a grab top tea kettle. There's a weird one. I don't think I've ever seen that before from anyone, ever. Front torque.
Go ahead, use all three rails. Let no rail go to waste. Yeah. Such a clean landing, too. It's kind of weird watching some of these tricks where, like, if he doesn't switch up, it almost comes as a disappointment just because you're used to seeing so many switch ups and quick pace skating from Oigan that when it's just one solid trick, it's like, what's coming next? And then it doesn't. That was nice. The cross grabs. Underbar skating at its finest. said it before and I'll say it again. I am a fan of a solid fish brain. That is a solid fish brain. Let's go ahead and get some transfers in. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make a, an opinion statement. If you guys want to disagree, that's fine, but I'm going to go out on a limb and just say it. Eugen Enan is the most technically proficient blader in the sport right now, possibly of all time. I can't think of anybody that has more rail awareness and balance than I've ever seen. I see that. You got a switch in a regular. That's pretty cool. Ooh. That was an amazing save. Looks like he's got a broken finger in this clip, but he's still getting the grab. Wow. Can't let injury slow you down. We get a couple of gaps. Good to have some variety in the section. What am I talking about? His whole section is variety. My buddy Jason likes to do the true top acid with that grab. He's really good at it. Jason, if you're watching this, man, I love seeing that trick from you. What was that? I'm gonna have to watch that again. We just like bathroom tiled the outdoors. Seems like a really weird spot. I bet it slides really good though. All right, now the music got intense again. We're back to the cities. Look at this spot. Wow. This spot officially wins for best spot ever. Sign me up. I have no words. You know, if you guys ever played uh, aggressive inline or, you know, one of those other early aggressive skating video games, it's like he's got all the cheat codes on and he's just got that, like, that balance meter pivoting back and forth. This is just unreal. What? How? No, 
Why? Oh, no. Putting a lot of trust in the feet, man. If you miss that, it's gonna be a bad time. If you guys can't tell, this is my first time watching this section, and good lord, I think I've been living under a rock because it's almost criminal that I haven't seen this yet. The editing, this, this thing is a work of art. That reminds me of that red ledge that uh, Chris Farmer did the test slide on. Hey, it's another goofy rail. Double T kettle variation. I'm not even sure if that was the same foot switch. One of them. I don't know. I need to watch this thing again. Sick. Wow. This is this is the best Friday ever. I'm so glad I found this. Another amazing save. No way. Well, that was nothing short of amazing. Wow. Well, we've got one more to go. This one I have seen before. This is going to be his section from The Groovy Deed. We'll get that one pulled up and see if we can keep this uh, thrill train rolling today. All right, let's do it one more time. Send us into the weekend, man. Go ahead and wax it up. That's, that's fine. One more. I've seen what you can do. I know what's coming. Oh, oh, oh. I've slipped away on a fucking ground. I, I was once told that a session has never actually started until you get your first hip check in. When you hip check the rail, that's when the session begins. And that was sick. music stylings and the colors and stuff is again more subdued in this section it's a lot lighter than the last one um, we're still in for some really amazing technical skating holding the back royale forever I think there's an Oiganine underneath that hair somewhere Speaking of amazing spots from earlier, wow, does this spot look amazing. Just a random giant quarter pipe in the middle of the city. Does that trick have a name? I don't even know what to call that. Jazzy piano music is giving me like uh, vibes of Charlie Brown. Whole Peanuts uh, gang. Schroeder playing on the piano. Meanwhile, Oigan kills every rail in sight, transfers stuff, does crazy switch ups.
Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and revise my statement from earlier. He's not just the most technically proficient skater currently rollerblading. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. he's the most technically proficient rollerblader of all time. At least that I've ever seen. What a scenic spot that no one would ever want to skate. At least I wouldn't want to skate that. He's on a budget. Rocket that back torque. That's how you do it proper, kids. You gotta grab the back torque, and if you can rocket it out, that's how you get the bonus points. I'm not sure I'd have to watch that back again, but did you just do those both ways? Man, why do you gotta be so negative? No, I approve, it's cool. Those kids like it. Gotta inspire the younger kids. If you guys ever have the opportunity, make sure you're being a good role model and a good ambassador for blading. Ultimately, if we can get a younger crowd into rollerblading, that's what's going to carry our sport into the future. All right, our, our jazzy music is picking up now. Go ahead and throw that in there at the end. This spot looks cool. I bet that's way harder than it looks though, especially since it's got that little lip at the beginning. Oh, I did not see that coming. I thought that was gonna be a ledge trick. You know you're doing things right when you can have a drop kink rail in your section as just a filler. Well, that's gonna be butter. Marble ledge plus wax. Ooh, that's a scary one. Flawlessly executed though. Even through the little kink at the end. Sometimes you gotta do your own landscaping around a spot. Living out here in Minnesota where it's always snowy, I know sometimes we've gone to places and actually shoveled like the sidewalk and the area in front of a business so that we can skate. So, I don't know. Sometimes you each get something out of it. You get to skate for a while, the business gets free, free manual labor. It's a win-win. Time for some 450 back Royale action. Making it look easy. Well, I bet those people in the background are glad that they were walking by. Get to witness that in person. And we'll end things off with a back slide down a drop rail. Set slide to a close. All right, that was an excellent section. Wow, what a day. Some amazing skating from, again, the most technically proficient rollerblader in the modern era, perhaps of all time, Eugen Man, 
keep coming out with that type of content. I could watch that all day. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up for this one. I'm Butch Lehman. Thanks for watching this episode of Rolling Reactions. Quick shout out to all the sponsors that are making rollerblading even stronger and uh, propelling us forward into the future. Give them your support. And uh, till next time, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and get out there and do some rollerblading. We'll see you next time. Peace.